Hey guys, I wanted to reach out today and create a new video because I've been using for the last couple of months a new website to submit my applications for Lance. And the website is called skyward.io. That's the name of the, uh, the address for the website. And maybe some of you have heard it. Now, Skyward is a little bit different than what I have in the other videos, which is for using AirMap. Now, I'm not a big fan of AirMap, never been a fan of AirMap. And I've been trying to find a way to replace AirMap, and Skyward has been doing the job really well. So the only downside with Skyward is that there is not really an app on a mobile uh, device. So you have to go on the website first and then deal with the uh, just having a desktop version. So I'm going to show you two things today. I'm going to show you how to submit a regular uh, submission inside of Lance and how you can find information about specific airspace using Skyward. And then I'm actually also going to go over how to submit a, an application to fly in a zero grid uh, section of Lens. I have received, I have been successful submitting several of them in the last couple of months. And I wanted to share this with you so that if you ever find yourself in an area that doesn't have uh, any kind of, uh, of altitude, if you, it's in a, a zero grid, you can still fly possibly, if you get approval. So I'll go over the process as we go over the screen. So let's get to the computer and then let's take a look at how uh, Skyward looks and how you're gonna submit those, uh, those applications. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to skyward.io. And when we get there, it's kind of tricky at first to create an account because you're gonna have to create an account. You're gonna go to the sign in. And when you get to sign in on the top right, then uh, you're going to get to the login page. There's a way here to create an account. So go ahead and do that. It's actually free to do so. I'm going to go and log in on my own account right here. And when you get to that first page, and first I'm going to show you how to submit a regular application in a class D or space, for example, in an area that actually has um, uh, lens. So, uh, the first thing you're going to do, you can see at the top here, you have several things. You have map, you have plan, and you have manage. So if this is the first time that you log in, what I want you to do is I want you to go to manage, and I want you to go to personnel. So you're going to create your own name in here, okay? And then I want you to go in here and do manage again, and I want you to add an aircraft at least, because you're going to need that in the future. So that's going to have your serial number, that's going to have all that stuff that you did with the FAA. Now you can add checklists in here, you can add batteries, you can do a whole bunch of different things if you want in here. But the two minimum things you have to do is personnel and then um, and an aircraft. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the map area, because we have to start with the map area. So I'm going to go right here and go to the map section and then I'm going to go and uh, take a look I'm going to show you so this is I live in Prescott as you know um, this is the Prescott airport here the Prescott grid and, uh, and you can see obviously it has a grid so it is in Lance and let's just say that I wanted to do a flight in um, in this area right here so let's say uh, I wanted to find out more information about it I can actually click right here in that specific area and look what it says on the left side United States Lance US facility grid ceiling 250 I cannot fly over 250 in this area I could I could ask I could request to fly in that area over 250 now it's pretty far from the airport and as you can see there is a uh, there's a 400 right here and then on the other side there's a zero right here and then again uh, here around it there's an, a 350 so you would be able to click and you can see each of the blocks has uh, a contour around it so this would be all right here is all 400 in this entire area and then anywhere in here would be 250 so anyways I'm going to show you a simple uh, simple one right here I'm going to actually get started with this lake right here and, uh, and this is an area where I fly quite a bit so you can go in here and let's say I wanted to fly over this green patch right here okay so I'm going to go and create a new flight area so I have different ways of doing this I can actually do it with a square where I'm gonna grab the corners like this keep clicking until you get the whole area and then you have to give it a name I'm not gonna do this I'm gonna show you something else I can do it with the pen so I can actually do a free form right here of the area that I want to do again give it a name or I can do it using this uh, circle so I first oops uh, let's do the circle again circle and then I would do um, 
click and drag okay so click and then drag the area with a specific uh, radius you can see right here from the center point um, I can also use these lines right here so I'm going to do one line to another line to another line to another line so you can do a, a shape like this we're just doing straight lines okay I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to do a circle. It uh, doesn't really matter. It's really up to whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do a circle and drag it like this. And that's that's it. I just want to fly in this area. And uh, this area is going to, I'm going to call it Watson uh, Test. Okay. So I'm going to save this area. And now again, this is a 400 um, uh, ceiling. I'm allowed to fly up to 400. And um, here it says control airspace, obtain ATC permission before flying. So that's what we're doing right now. Now that I have my area, I'm going to go to my flight areas right here. And I'm going to go to the bottom and see it says Watson test. And here I have a little plus sign and I can say edit, plan, or center. Center is going to center it on the in the middle of the area. Edit, I can edit it obviously. Plan, I can create a flight plan around this. So when you get to the plan area, first thing I want you to do is give it a name. So Dell's test, I'm just going to call it that for now. And then uh, you can request it for whenever you want. So in my case, let's just say I wanted to fly in the next 10 minutes. I can actually do that as long as I'm not requesting to fly higher than what the Lance grid is telling you. Okay. If you're requesting more than that, give it at least 48 hours in advance, at least 48 hours in advance. So I'm going to go, actually, I'm actually going to go fly there tomorrow at 9 a.m. So 9 a.m. until tomorrow at, let's say, I'm going to be done at 12. So you have to select a pilot that you just set up in the system and then an aircraft that you just set up in here. And you can look at the weather. You can request the altitude here that you're going to be flying at. So requested altitude, let's just say 400 feet. I want to fly as high as 200, as 400 feet. And I'm going to click request authorization. Now it's going to say uh, you need to maintain line of sight, you need to maintain basically all the regulation associated with this flight. You say I agree and then you're going to agree and guess what in a few seconds we should get an approval from the FAA. There you go. Notice of authorization to fly in this area. All right so there you have it. You can print it, you can save it, you can close it. This uh, will be in your reference. So you have approval, you're ready to go, you're ready to go fly. And that's it. Now, is this better than um, what we had with AirMap? Yes, I think it is. It's a lot easier because you can do it on the computer, you can plan, you can see. It's a lot easier than just looking at a phone or even an iPad. Uh, feel free to use this in the future for submitting your application. The next thing I want to show you is how to submit something in a zero area and um, and how kind of to word everything that you're going to word in here. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at that. So we're going to go back to our map and um, actually let, let's go ahead and save this. Actually I have to fly uh, in a zero grid again for a project that I'm working on. So. Uh, we're going to go and find that area. It's uh, it's in the Class D airspace for Prescott. It's actually not far from that little area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck this and um, let's go to the map here and zoom in. And um, there's a trail and here's the trail right here and right at this fork right here. Okay, right at this fork is where I need to fly. So if I click in here and I go to airspace, the tab right here, look, it says ceiling zero. Okay. And if I click on it, it actually, if I zoom out, it kind of highlights the whole area. The reason it's zero is because the runway for the airport is right up here. All right. So not very far. Um, I know I can actually fly in there because I have received approval before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this down right here. I'm going to select it. So um, let me zoom. Oops, I messed up. I zoomed. There you go. So let me go back and select. In this case, I'm actually going to draw a square and I'm going to zoom out and I want to fly right here and all the way to here. Okay. And I'm going to name this. Um, I'm going to name this Point of Rocks because that's the name of the area. Point of Rocks uh, final. Okay, save. <clears throat> and then now, if I go back to my flight areas here, I can see Point of Rock final right here. 
click the plus and I'm going to create a plan based on this. Now I'm going to fly there on Friday and on Friday I'm going to be there at from 8 a.m. to Friday at 10 a.m. okay and pilot in command is myself aircraft is going to be in here I can put an internal node that's just for me now requested altitude here you notice it says zero max 100 feet is what I'm going to request and it says required ATC review so here's what the process is going to be this application is going to go to the FAA first and the FAA is going to review it and and have the first look at it and then when they do then it's going to go to the uh, control tower and the control tower is going to look at it and say yeah or nay and um, so from there uh, if they say yes then I get my approval if they say no then I'm not going to get my approval now here there is something that says reason for exceeding altitude limit okay so um, I'm going to write down a few things unfortunately I can't share these because this is a, a, a contract that I'm working for someone so I'm just going to write down a little bit of text and then I'll tell you the rest of it what I'm going to put in here but uh, essentially I'm telling them what I'm doing for the client for who I'm working and, uh, and just explaining that this is what's happening <laughs> that's it that really should be all the stuff that you need to tell them basically how you're going to deal with the, the pattern the fact that you're familiar with the pattern and, and hopefully you do, just don't say it you are familiar with the pattern I am and if you have a radio that would be good if you can monitor the frequency tell them you're available by phone in case something happens and um, and that you set up your drone to do the things that it's supposed to do which is not exceed 100 feet AGL and then um, to return to home in case of a lost link so that should basically do it right here so I'm gonna do request authorization right here uh, save okay I need to save first uh, oh I need to give it a name Duh. Um, uh, point of rocks final I'm gonna save that and then again I'm gonna go back to request authorization right here now it's gonna tell you a few things I agree again like we did before so that's fine and then as we send it it's gonna go through now it's gonna give you a pre-approval which is kind of interesting there you go notice of authorization except here you notice it says pending ATC review pending ATC review so um, it will take a little bit of time for them to do this at least 48 hours I would give them definitely do not submit this with less than 48 hours it will get denied again can guarantee you because it needs to go to the FAA first and then it needs to be submitted to the tower so uh, today is Tuesday and I'm asking for it for Friday so hopefully that's enough time for them to do it if not I can always push it this is not to me it's not too much of an issue for me at this stage I can always push it to a future date but uh, that's it this is the uh, this is the approval right here and um, again this is not your final authorization you still need to wait for the final one with the ATC but that's how you submit it I hope this helps if you have any question leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to help you